Well, good morning, everybody. Um, nice for everyone um, in this uh, webinar. Welcome, everybody, and I thank you, everybody, to uh, for participating in this webinar. Um, I am James Rose, and uh, I'm working in Ingenious. And today I will have uh, our second webinar in our uh, row of seven um, regarding the End Partner Program. Um, I am, uh, like I said, James Rose. I'm product manager in uh, Ingenious Networks Europe office and uh, working already for 13 years in IT business and working since three years, more than three years in Ingenious at the moment. Um, so, like I said, I'm the product manager and I'm the bridge between uh, Headwater and, and uh, the European market for product information. So, therefore, uh, uh, it's my task to give you uh, information regarding uh, the products, and I will uh, share uh, this information through this webinar today. Uh, in case you have other questions, you as a reseller, uh, you can always uh, address to me uh, to contact uh, our office and ask for, for, for me, or you can also contact our uh, FAE Mark um, for any technical question or support on product, uh, either technical or product management uh, questions. So today's webinar, um, if I go to the next slide. Today, today's webinar, like I said, is the second webinar of total uh, seven webinars in the end part of the program. And this webinar is the first webinar dedicated to the EBS uh, Neutron solution. And in this webinar, we will give you an introduction of the EWS uh, solution, talking at the points that are displayed now in the in the slide. Um, the following um, webinar uh, will be hands-on, and the the, the 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 webinar after that will go through the, all the features of the Neutron solution. So today we are just going to uh, go quickly through the EWS specifications, through the, fun through the functions. We give you a few examples of setup. I talk, uh, I will talk quickly about the navigator, uh, also about Easy Master, and uh, I will draw out some key selling points. Talk about the target market and the customer profile, and I will go through the products that are currently. Um, in our uh, uh, lineup and also in the future lineup, which is uh, is under development. Okay, so I will start with uh, our first slide here, which is talking about the EWS specifications. Um, the Neutron series, as we call a distributed management solution, is a AP managed, license free uh, wireless infrastructure. Um, the main specification in this infrastructure is that we provide uh, is that we have a management switch that uh, manage the network on a P level. So there are access points that are managed by the management switch. In, in just a few sentences, we can summarize the function of this solution as follows. So we have one all-in-one switch, which is a layer two switch with PoE and management function. And on top of that, we have indoor and outdoor access points with even uh, up to 11 AC uh, protocol. Um, the connections to the access points from the access points to, uh, from the switch to the access points are uh, supposed to be wired for two reasons. Uh, first reason is to, 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 to manage to be able to manage the access point directly. And the second is to power the, the, the access point by PoE. Um, for instance, uh, if you have one switch uh, with like 24 ports and the, the management function is going, uh, is able to do uh, 50 access points, um, you can scale up your deployment to, uh, and combining it with an EGS switch. So I also will talk about this. And especially when you use EGS PoE switches, this, these switches will uh, be recognized by the Neutron uh, management switches and you can monitor the port status as well. 
Uh, as mentioned, um, the EWS switch can manage up to 20 or 50 access points, depending on the model. And still, uh, so, so, so pretty much you have, uh, you, you will, will be able to, to, to uh, manage a cell or one deployment of 20 or 50 access points. But you can still upscale it to, man, uh, to manage multiple um, cells, either through uh, uh, the easy master software, uh, sorry, the, either navigator software where you can monitor multiple cells or uh, even uh, uh, manage all of them in the same time through the easy master software, which is on the development. So at this moment, uh, you can already use uh, the navigator software uh, to get a quick and summarized overview of the EWS cells. And uh, in the future, we will have the easy master software, uh, which is able to uh, manage more cells at the same time and you can really manage the the, 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 the access points from this software but this uh, easy master is going to be launched uh, next month and there will be more information available uh, in, in, in a very short future and and also one of uh, the future uh, webinars will be dedicated to the launch of, of the uh, easy master uh, software Well, to go deeper into the devices, um, like we said, uh, we have a switch, which is a combination, uh, which is also a management switch, which is actually a combination of a, a wireless controller, uh, the layer two switch, and a PoE power source to power up uh, uh, the access points. It's an all-in-one housing, and, and uh, like I said, uh, it's especially designed for deployments up to 50 APs. I will later come back with the, 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 the combining of, uh, to explain how, how it worked with the ports and the power budget that will be explained later. So summarizing this sheet, we have a, a management switch, we, uh, which will uh, manage the access points and, and it's all in one uh, device solution um, with, with the controller switch and uh, PUE switch, uh, PUE power uh, inside. Uh, the second component in the EWS Neutron series are access points. And we have both uh, indoor models and we have outdoor models. And um, the access points are to be connected wired uh, to the management switches. Uh, like I said, for both the management function and also to, uh, to power it up. Uh, additionally, you can also add uh, an EGS uh, PoE switch to, as a sub switch to connect to the, to the access point. I will show deployment in the next slide. Um, in this sheet, in this slide, uh, like I said, uh, you can also combine an EGS switch on top of uh, an EWS management switch for a more extended uh, connection and a more extended uh, wireless uh, deploy wide, uh, network deployment. So in this case, you still have a wired connection. It, it, it is indirect, uh, not directly to the switch, uh, to the management switch, but still through the EGS switches, you have a wired connection uh, for the management and for the power. Um, the function of uh, the EWS solution in a network setup, well, like I said, the EWS series is a managed AP solution where uh, an e EWS uh, switch manage the function of the access point in a central place. So um, this is also the most important uh, feature, the most important uh, selling point, uh, if we if we want to sell, uh, if we want to broadcast this to customer, we have to be very well aware of the fact that the function of the EWS EWS is is, is actually only this part. So you have a network infrastructure with uh, starting from the internet and some 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 side services to to manage the the the, the, the network in some way. And then our part is starting from the infrastructure from the switch, uh, the wired connection to the access points. 
And this is the function and the place where the EVS uh, solution is functioning. And in this function, uh, we have uh, the, the management, the, 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 the configuration, and the monitoring of the access point. So summarizing the, for the functions of, of our EVS fun, uh, solution is AP discovery, auto discovery and provisioning, uh, wireless configuration, monitoring and controlling the access point. So on this moment, uh, the EVS solution is not focusing directly uh, on client level, but on access point level. So you kind of make your uh, infrastructure uh, of, 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 of network wired to wireless, uh, controlling or managing access point from the EWS solution. Um, this slide shows the full features of the EBS solution. And there will be a separate, like I said, there will be a separate, separate webinar that will go through all the fun features one by one. Uh, just an uh, indication here that the gold uh, marked uh, features are, uh, one sec, the gold marked features are uh, 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 an update on the latest firmware. Uh, I'm trying to show here that we are still uh, improving our um, our uh, software and our uh, management uh, module for more features. And all these uh, additional features are um, free. Uh, all the firmware updates are free to uh, for customer to download. So there will be no additional license for this. But like I said uh, in another webinar, uh, not the next one, but the next next one, I will go through all the features of this, uh, this uh, yeah, in detail. So back to the to the deployment. Um, additional network servers uh, are not integrated in the management switch. Well, we believe that certain functions should be done by uh, dedicated devices, functions like uh, fast roaming authentication, billing, captive portal, uh, logging, and, and uh, uh, QTM, for instance. Uh, they should be done by uh, dedicated devices. Uh, sometimes a few services can be in one device, or, or uh, you have all separate devices for each uh, service. Still, they can seamlessly work in uh, our EWS uh, solution. Uh, uh, for example, you can combine a, uh, a Ucopia access server uh, in this part and uh, maybe a, a sonic wall UTM uh, for, for, uh, as a firewall. Well, if, if we um, uh, realize this, uh, uh, this thing, the, the, the function of the EWS, and we can go through the, to the next step. I will show you a basic setup of uh, the EWS uh, function, the, the EWS setup. Um, first of all, I, I would recommend to use uh, EWS solution starting from uh, four access points. Uh, for a smaller deployment, I would recommend to use standalone setup. Uh, maybe you can use WS. Uh, that's also some, some other presentation. Uh, but in this slide, I would like to sh show you the, uh, uh, the components to start with. Um, in this case, I have a uh, management switch, one piece, and I have four access points wired to the switch. Well, if you use uh, an entry-level switch, I will come uh, to, the, to the product lineup later, uh, you can manage up to 20 access points. And in this exact uh, setup, you have, uh, and in this case, you have, we have four access points, and we will be able to cater something like 80 uh, simultaneous users. Uh, I use uh, the number 80 um, and, 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 and um, yeah, as a realistic workable number. Um, so please keep in mind that all the numbers that I use in all the presentations are realistic workable numbers to have a stable connection. Uh, most of the times these numbers can be way higher. Uh, theoretically, you can connect up to something like 250 something users but you know to give you a number which is reliable and and, and really a useful number to 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 uh, to use if you make a calculations 
And uh, then I would always use the, word, the, the number 20 for each access point. And that means that if you have, uh, for instance, a uh, management switch that can cater up to 50 access points, you can make a deployment with 50 access points times 20. So you have a, with one switch, you have a, uh, a deployment capacity of 1,000 users. Um, yeah, I, I use this number because um, all the wireless setups are, are vulnerable for, for many uh, uh, environmental factors. So we cannot guarantee any minimum, uh, but we, we like to use these numbers for, for uh, to, to have a realistic uh, reflection of what we can do. Well, back to the deployment. I, uh, like I said, uh, one, the, the, the entry level switch can, can manage up uh, to 20 access points. So in this case, if we start with this deployment, there is still a lot of room for expanding and you can just expand without uh, having a, 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 a previous cost that is, is, is not useful anymore. So you can just add on top at least uh, another four access points in this case, because you only have four ports. Uh, if you want to extend more, you can even use a, a, an EGS switch for instance, uh, like I mentioned in the table, an EGS5212 uh, FP switch to, uh, to provide a more uh, power budget and more ports for another eight uh, access points. Still, you are not at the end of the capacity of the management function of 20 access points, but already with one switch you can cater. If you use, uh, for instance, 16 access points with one uh, like I'd say, one uh, EWS switch and one extra EGS switch, and another uh, with, with, with 16 uh, access points, you can already make uh, 320 clients here. Okay, one sec. Um, yeah, I want to go to the next slide. For, 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 for larger deployments, um, you can make uh, bigger cells uh, with uh, using uh, bigger switches uh, who can ma manage up to 50 access points. And uh, also in this uh, bigger deployments, you can extend the network with the, the EGS uh, PoE switches, even to other buildings and, and using uh, fiber connections between them, like I draw in this, uh, uh, in this example here. Uh, in this case, uh, these cells are reflecting multiple buildings on one side, uh, one EWS uh, management switch connected wired uh, with, with, in this case, uh, uh, by optical to an EGS uh, sub switch in another building. And from here you go to the access points in this building. And from here you go to the access point in this building. And still you have one managed, AP managed solution in multiple build, buildings. Um, with one EDLS switch, you can uh, manage 50 access points, and uh, that means that uh, you can you can go up to 1,000 clients. If I use the number 20 for for uh, for the capacity for each uh, access point, but like I said, you know this is a realistic number which is for sure working, but in most of the cases the capacity is way higher. Okay. So, um, uh, next uh, topic that I want to talk about is uh, the navigator. Um, like I said in the introduction, um, we are able to do 50 access points, to manage 50 access points from one EWS switch. But it's very well possible that you have either bigger deployments that where you have to uh, manage more than 50 access points. And uh, at this moment, we have uh, uh, the Navigator software, which is a, a browser-based PC tool. And you can, uh, from the Navigator, you can monitor multiple management switches in one screen. Um, at this moment, the Navigator is, is only a monitor switch, uh, a monitor tool. And, and this is one screenshot how it looks like. In this case, uh, I have in uh, the navigator only connected one uh, one switch but normally uh, the switches will be uh, listed here like 
like this. And the switches will be all listed here. And here you can already get a, a summary of uh, your uh, uh, setup uh, of the switches. And uh, you can already see which one on which port the access, uh, there is some activity on top of it. If you click on the switch, you will um, go directly, you will be navigated to the respective switch that you just selected. And then uh, you can do the configuration or the management from the switch directly. So we have to understand that at this moment, the, the navigator is a, is a, uh, a monitor tool which can navigate you to the resp uh, respective switches that you have in your deployment. The next step that we are working on and which is currently under development and is going to be launched next month is um, the Easy Master. Uh, the Easy Master is, 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 is going to be a uh, Linux based uh, software for uh, real multi site management of uh, the ingenious uh, EWS uh, solution. Uh, it will manage both the um, the switches and the access point. So it's it's a Linux-based software that needs to be needs to run on either a local server or on a cloud instance. And um, most of all, what's very important is that the software is free. It will be provided for free, and it's for uh, the multi-site management over the internet of multiple EWS uh, solutions. Um, in this picture, it shows oh, it shows uh, what am I doing here? Uh, the the, the Easy Master uh, controller uh, can be PC, like I said, a Linux PC server or a uh, in the cloud, and it can manage the um, the, the either an access point directly or an EWS, uh, the, the access point through an EWS switch. Um, like I said, the management can be directly from Easy Master to access point, but the management uh, will be much uh, less advanced as you have, if, if, you, as, as if you want to manage it through an EWS switch. Because with the EWS switch, you have the full handles, the full functions of the whole uh, uh, feature list. But on the, if you do it directly, then there are some, uh, yeah, some restrictions. For instance, uh, uh, if you still use the EWS switch, you have a management redundancy and uh, either um, the management can be uh, continued uh, even with one of the components uh, dropping out in case there was uh, some kind of uh, internet dropout or something. Um, Pretty much, there is uh, the, the the software is free, and there is no software or license limitation in the quantity of access point that you can uh, manage with the Easy Master. And the software is under development and expecting to be to be uh, ready in, in in Q3. So we are actually uh, making all the preparations to test it and to launch it. And as soon as uh, the, the 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 software is available, we will definitely uh, broadcast to the to the market. Okay, then key selling points of the EWS solution. Um, the EWS solution, uh, like I said, it's a, a, a AP managed wireless solution for wireless cells or deployments up to 50 access points, saying 1000 users. And the solution is, is designed for, 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 for small deployments where you, you want to use like 20 or 20 up to 1,000 users through 50 APs. The solution can be a part of a, a bigger setup in combination with radius servers, like we showed in this uh, picture before, uh, traffic uh, logging services, uh, internet gateways. And the solution is uh, positioned in places where easy management of access point is required so it's it's uh, if you look at this uh, this uh, picture here i made a triangle in this pyramid here and, and and on the bottom we have the standalone ap which we are uh, which is our legacy product here 
And, and on top, we have a client level access controlled uh, uh, systems, like uh, systems which are managed by uh, a, a very advanced uh, uh, client level controller using, uh, for instance, Rukus access points or other uh, uh, high end uh, Cisco uh, access points. These uh, systems are very costly and very um, not easy to manage. You, you, you definitely need an external party to, to, to set up and maintain and, and monitor the system. But not everybody wants to needs to have or has a, 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 a IT guy who is managing the, the wireless network. The, in many cases, the wireless network should just run by itself. And, and in many cases, uh, companies or institutions don't have the, 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 the force, the, 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 the financial force to, uh, to buy this kind of system, maintain it and, 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 and keep all the license alive. So in this case, we come with our ingenious Neutron series and uh, where we have this very simple uh, setup. And uh, easy installation, easy configuration, it's expandable, it's scalable. We have a, a low investment and on top of everything, we have no license to pay. We have no license to maintain. Even if you expand it, it's still, you buy the hardware, you install it, you configure it, and it can be run by itself. And, and in, many in many cases, it also the, 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 the monitoring, if needed, for so far needed, uh, or maybe some troubleshooting can be done uh, through the EWS switch from a uh, remote location. So, knowing this, yeah, this is this is so. These are the, the key selling points, and and I think for for us and for our direct customer, uh, it, the most important thing is to to focus on on the fact that we are just in the middle. Of, 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 uh, of this pyramid here that we have on top that uh, the client level access control where everything is managed and, and controlled uh, in, with a very high end, uh, a very high end, um, uh, how to say, a very high end uh, device uh, solution. And, and, but we have the alternative to, to give, uh, one sec, one button. To give an alternative here, which is much easier, much uh, easier to install, to configure, to scale, and easier to to maintain with with, with less investment. Just a, um, a uh, example how to uh, how to compare it um, price wise. I see I have price here. Uh, this is our uh, um, deployment um, compared to uh, some N brands where we have, uh, yeah, I think if you just look at the numbers, it talks, uh, speaks for itself. Uh, very important here is that uh, we have an all-in-one, an all-in-one uh, switch solution, uh, including PoE switch and, and, and layer two switch. So we don't need an additional uh, uh switch here to extend uh, the network and to make the connections to the uh, to the access points the next comparison is in even a little bigger deployment up with uh, 48 access points the same here uh very important here is, is that we don't work with licenses so uh for instance if you want to make uh, this uh dealing solution you have to pay for another uh, license fee for 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 to, to to be able to control more access points and that also counts for these kind of solutions where the bigger the 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 the, the deployment is the bigger the gap of uh, of solution is uh, the bigger the gap of the the money is so target market okay um, the solution the EVA solution is designed for a small smaller deployment where you want to cater 20 to 1000 clients through 50 APs and of course 
uh, if I use the, the, the word uh, 50 APs, that means you have one cell. In the future, we will also have the Easy Master software, which can uh, uh, manage more cells so you can combine more uh, bigger deployments into one uh, uh, deployment. But uh, for uh, for currently, for if you want to use uh, only the EBS solution with one switch, you can uh, uh, make a deployment for up to 1,000 clients with 50 APs and one EWS uh, switch. And like I said, the solution can be a part of a bigger setup in combination with radius servers and internet gateways. And it, yeah, typically it's to be used in small to medium offices and a cafe, bar, hotel, school, campus, etc. But still, we have to keep in mind that our EOS solution is an AP managed solution where uh, you either don't need to have a um, uh, client level control system uh, because our EOS solution is an AP management solution, or you want to combine it with another external client uh, management or access control system. Um, the target customer profile. I think this is also one thing that's very important because uh, from our experience in a few months, uh, we think that um, the, 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 we have to uh, approach our channel into a different way because uh, the, 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 the direct customer who would have to buy our products and who, uh, who would have to install our product uh, the, uh, regarding the, the EVS solution is a little bit different than our traditional channel because uh, we believe that um, the, the, the customer is not a standard uh, uh, buyer, just buy and sell. And, and, and because what we actually need is, is, is the installers. And, and beca because of the nature of this, uh, EWS solution, which is a, a very simple and very easy to deploy and very easy to install uh, solution. Uh, we target on, on the installers who can do everything by himself. So this installer can be a, a one-man company or two-man company driving around in his van and, and his customer base is, is like I said, is, uh, is small offices or sc small schools, uh, offices, medium offices, where this guy is going there have a cup of coffee and start doing the installation from scratch and do the inf installation and the configuration of the network until it works. And he says, okay, it works. Here is your password. I've set it up and here you can, you can uh, change the password if needed. And otherwise I can do it from remote. So this guy, these customers should be uh, uh, the small companies who can, who can uh, do the hardware installation as well. And you can do all also the setup of the whole uh, deployment. He can do the, the and 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 uh, he does not need any certification uh, or or schooling for configuring the network. No, it's just our simple uh, deployment. He can he can do it by himself, and and even from remotely. And and if there is something. Uh, uh, that he wants to extend or the customer needs to extend, then he can just come over with to bring another access point and, 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 and a cable and just add another access point where needed. So this is something that we have to change ourselves in, that we are uh, focusing on, on this different kind of, uh, of customers, different than uh, our normal channel. So far for the, for the, 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 the technical insights, um, or, or the sales points. Uh, so currently now I want to go to the product lineup as, as the last slides, few slides. Um, I'll start with the management switches. Um, the full nine, we have a few different types of switches. Actually, you can just divide them in two. Um, we have uh, nine full 19 inch switches, we ca which can, uh, cater or manage, how to say, uh, manage up to 50 access points. Uh, all the switches, the functionality, the features are all the same. The only difference is that uh, 
either the, the, the management capacity is different and we have uh, uh, management capacity up to 50 or 20. And for the rest, the PoE budget and the quantity of ports are, are, uh, are different. But pretty much, like I said, the 19 inch switches, they have a capacity of 50 access points and the smaller switches have a capacity of, of the management of 20 access points. And for the rest, uh, the ports are different and, and the power budget is different. And in this, in this case, um, you have to combine uh, the, these switches with, with, with either directly connected to access point or connect, combine them with the EGS uh, PoE switches. Um, this I like to highlight here. Uh, we see that uh, many of our deployments are still smaller deployments where people still want to have a, uh, a central place to manage and configure the access points. And um, we will soon have a uh, even uh, a more cost, effic cost efficient switch uh, still to, to be able to 20 access points, but with a lower power budget, uh, lower cost to make a very uh, entry level, a more entry level management, uh, AP managed solution. So we will uh, shortly, we will come with a even more cost efficient switch uh, to make uh, more cost efficient uh, deployments. I like to highlight here that we still have to keep in mind that the power budget is uh, 61 watt and you have to be very careful in uh, deploying the access point so you don't have too, money, too much loading for, uh, for, for the switch. But at the end, you know, all the um, access points they are delivered. They they uh, they are included with uh, with the power uh, power adapter. Uh, the the indoor access points they have um, uh, the capacity to be powered by PoE or with uh, the power adapter. So even if you buy twenty access points, you can still use this switch and maybe ten of them or no. Uh, Maybe, uh, well, in, in this case, this, this you can connect eight access points and if you want to extend it, uh, but you can probably cannot connect a power of eight, eight access points with a switch. So you did the rest, you can still power with the power supply, which is supplied with the access point. And in case you want to extend it to a uh, uh, to more uh, to more access points, then you can use another uh, EGS switch for the for the for the switching function, um, the access points. Uh, I have a list here with the outdoor access points. Um, currently, we actually have two access points which are available at this moment, which is the 860 and the 660. They are both 11 AC dual band concurrent access points uh, with 3T 3R. Big difference is, is that this has external antennas, which are replaceable and it's more heavy. Uh, so it's also more heavy in capacity and also uh, the, 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 the IP rating is higher than the EWS 660. Uh, I like to mention here with the 660 and actually also with the 650 is that the antenna uh, is, uh, the internal antenna is, they have an internal antenna, but still it's omnidirectional. So don't uh, confuse here because of the design that this looks like a directional. Actually, this device is still uh, omnidirectional uh, if you talk about the antenna. And um, okay, so like I said, these two are available currently, and we will soon have the, the 650 access point which is a 2T2R solution, but still on 11AC. Actually, all the outdoor uh, uh, access points are going to be 11AC. Um, for the EWS, uh, yeah, we have we have two models which are uh, under development currently. It will be um, four T4R solutions, which is new uh, for more uh, higher bandwidth uh, to to cater to to our clients. And uh, well, these are currently under development. So just pointing out here that we are 
busy and in, in extending our uh, product line. Then we go to uh, indoor. Um, for indoor at this moment, we actually have uh, one, two, three models which are currently available. And we have two upcoming models here very soon. Um, uh, even one single band solution here and, and, and uh, also in, in uh, the 11 AC solution, we will have two T2R, um, how to say, a variation coming soon to um, yeah to, to give a more uh, variety in in our uh, deployments um, in, in the product lineup and even I don't even have a picture a decent picture yet we will have also 44 our solutions for our indoor management access points but these are currently under development we are almost at our last slide of our uh, presentation for today um there is one more slide for the product lineup and that is also a uh, nice to mention uh, since our ews solution is uh, uh, focusing on 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 uh, hotels uh, education and 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 um so we we come uh, currently there's there's a model uh, under development which we call uh, the wall plate wireless management ap um we will have two models, one single band and one dual band solution. And it actually is a, it's a very, um, uh, yeah, just a square access point for installations in uh, hotel rooms, in, in, in classrooms. And um, I'd like to mention here, uh, it's a wall plate uh, wireless management AP. It is uh, the function is to um, to mount it on the wall on places where you have your uh, Ethernet connection coming out of the wall. Uh, it will come with a special bracket that fits over it, and on the bottom of the device you can connect it to your uh, to your network. It either can connect through an uh, RJ45 or there is this uh, how to say uh, 110 uh, block connector here to punch in uh, the connection without uh, putting an RJ45 on top of it. And, and uh, it's, it's either a single band or dual band um, access point uh, with actually a low power radio because um, the idea behind this is to have one terminal access point in each room to cater the wireless in one room. And also, uh, for instance, if you want to use this in a hotel, uh, there is a, a, a switch a few ports uh, LAN ports here and even with one with uh, PoE out there is PoE in on the on the bottom and there is PoE out for instance VoIP telephone or, or uh, other devices uh, which need some PoE and and there are uh, more uh, wired connections here for instance the intelligent refrigerator in a hotel room or something like this so this is more for for hotel and and, and classrooms um, and this will be managed uh, manageable by the EWS solution. So uh, this is the last slide for the product lineup. Uh, I just want to add one more slide uh, for today's uh, presentation here and for today's webinar, which is, um, like I said, you can use um, an EWS switch with, um, and you can connect directly access points to that. But uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, if you, you, you uh, power up access points to the PoE of the switch, of course, there is, is a restriction. Um, there are two ways how to calculate this, or there are two things that you need to take care of. And the first thing is uh, that you have to determine is how many access points do you want to manage? So also taking consideration that you might want to expand in the future. So uh, maybe in more rooms, or if you want to go outside, something like that. The second thing that's very important is to, um, what is the power consumption of the access points you want to use? So that you are restricted to a certain budget. budget. Well, in this uh, table here, um, it shows uh, uh, the, 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 
access point capacity of the switches, for instance, uh, if you only want to make a deployment up to 20, 20 access points, you can start with a entry level switch, which can manage up to 20 access points. But you have to keep in mind that you can only connect eight pieces of access point directly because it only has eight, eight ports. But if you use a higher end access point, the power of 130 watts might not be enough for eight access points that you want to connect. So you are only restricted, you are restricted for up to, yeah, if you use this EDLS 360, you're restricted to use only six access points directly powered by the PoE switch. So in this way, you can calculate how many um, access points you can manage directly with the switch. But uh, second of all, you can you also have to calculate how many uh, access points you can power up with the budget of this switch. If you want to connect more access points, which you can manage with one EWS switch, you have to see how many uh, access points can I, for instance, power up by an additional EGS switch. Um, this is just uh, a point out because we know and from experience that many customers have some, uh, they forget to, 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 to plan this in their deployment. And as a first step to the next uh, presentation, which is going to be the hands-on um, and, and, and how to uh, manage uh, and set up the, the, the EVS solution, this slide as the last slide of this webinar. Um, so like I said, the last slide as, uh, for, for this webinar, um, uh, as as a first step for the for the upcoming webinars, um, I would like to keep uh, the 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 webinar open for a few minutes to post your questions. Um, I will I will um, uh, I, I will. Um, if, if you want to have, if you want to ask a question, you can post your question here, and I will uh, answer them after the webinar. And uh, if needed, if it's if if the if the if the webinar is uh, if the question is, is is interesting, I will also post it to all the the um, the, the participants of this webinar. So I will uh, I will keep the webinar open now for a few web uh, for a few minutes, and I thank you. Um, for your attention here and i would like to welcome you to register in future webinars uh, i think today or tomorrow i will also open um, the registration for uh, uh, even more webinars to open it and then um, yeah I, I hope to see you in another webinar so i thank you all for your um, um, for your attention and for your participation here and um, yeah if you want to post another question I keep the webinar open for a few minutes and I thank you all and I hope to see you soon. Thank you and bye bye.